There's a video going around the internet right now showing how there's been a new algorithm created to make underwater images look amazing. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how we can create similar results using in-camera settings. Stick around. Hey guys, Joe here. And recently, Scientific America published a video featuring an oceanographer that has created an algorithm that makes underwater images look fantastic. To summarize, the video shows how this algorithm, when applied to a traditional image captured underwater using natural light, which would be kind of like green and monochrome and not a lot of detail, well, this software algorithm will change that image into a very detailed, very colorful image that looks great. I'll leave a link to the video in the description below and kudos to the oceanographer that has created this awesome algorithm. Now in this video, I wanna show viewers that it's possible to create similar results in their underwater imagery using in-camera settings. And in fact, this is a technique that I've used for several years to create engaging imagery in the challenging underwater environments I often work in. Now, most of us divers know that as we descend with depth, we lose light and we lose the color provided by light. So if we took a traditional camera down and used kind of stock settings on that camera and took an image at depth, we're likely to end up with an image that looks kind of boring, maybe a green or a blue kind of monochrome situation with low detail and just not a lot going on. However, if we're able to kind of convince our cameras that it should look amazing at the depths we're capturing our imagery at, we can actually get the camera to create images in the camera itself that look really, really cool. Now to do this, we need two things essentially. One, we need a camera that has the ability to aggressively custom white balance. Once we have the camera that has that ability, all we really need to do is to calibrate that white balance at depth and we're good to go. Now, as far as the camera, if you have a Canon camera, you're probably in luck. As far as I'm aware, most Canon cameras offer this ability to do kind of extreme custom white balances. I think I can vouch for the higher end power shots and probably all the DSLRs for sure, but my hunch is, is that most Canon cameras will offer this extreme white balance ability. Now, if you don't have a Canon camera, I'm not aware of other manufacturers that offer this. And the bummer is, is that you really can't research it very well. White balance settings is not kind of a sexy thing to sell, so you don't see a lot of detail on white balance specs when you're shopping cameras. So it's really hard to know what cameras can do this without physically having the camera. Now, if you do have another camera and you're not sure if it has this ability or not, one way to maybe test it is to do something as follows. Use a green source image to calibrate your white balance. Now, different cameras have different ways to calibrate a white balance, but generally you need a source image. A lot of times you'd use a, like a white or a neutral source image. In this case, use a green source image and that kind of replicates what it might look like at depth. So calibrate your white balance based on that green source image and then flip it over to the live view on your camera and look through your live view in kind of a natural light situation. And that live view should have a pretty dramatic red tint to it or like a magneta tint, magneta, purple, I guess. So if you see that, you're probably, you're, you're good. If you don't see that and your screen's still not very dramatically different color, then your camera's not gonna be able to produce these kind of see through the water images we're talking about in camera themselves. Now having said that, not all is lost. You can still apply external filters to these cameras when you're underwater. And you can also do some pretty amazing things in post-production nowadays. So all you need to do if you have a camera that has this ability is to simply calibrate the white balance at depth. Doing that will enable the camera to capture some engaging imagery right in the camera itself, often not needing much work in post-production. For those interested, I may make a future video showing how I specifically calibrate the cameras I use underwater. So stick around for that. And also I'll leave a link to the equipment used in these sample images in the video description below. Now the ability to custom white balance is one of the main reasons I utilize Canon cameras in most of my underwater work. This ability, this equipment is a huge asset for the type of work I do. I film oftentimes at deeper depths where there's not much light and definitely not much color. So having the ability to be able to shoot in natural light and to create these very detailed, colorful images in these challenging low light situations is amazing to me and it makes the work I do possible. As far as I'm aware, Canon may be the only manufacturer that offers this extreme white balance tweaking capability. I hope I'm wrong and I'm hoping someone is aware and can prove me wrong in the comments below, providing some examples of other camera makes that do offer this extreme white balance ability. 
So in summary, I'm not saying this technique will produce the exact results that are featured in the Scientific America video. However, I wanna make viewers aware that it is possible to create amazing imagery, even in very challenging underwater environments, using the technology and the cameras we already have available. I hope you found this video enjoyable. If so, please consider subscribing, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, keep it simple, and be safe.